Yes, my friends, I am back from a long hiatus. It's been busy around here, but we are back. And now we are playing PUBG. This little video here is a game of me and a friend of mine doing duos where when we started off, we did not think we were going to win this. So let's watch and see what happens. So at the beginning of the game, we were pretty far out trying to get some loot, spending a lot of time out here. We finally realized we got to start heading towards the circle. Uh, we couldn't find a car, so we had to foot it. So we're on a long, long mission here by foot. We're going to take off, start heading towards the circle here and try to get ourselves closer to everyone else. We're going to speed it up here so we don't have to watch the long run. And you can see us taking off and towards the end. The circle does catch us. We get in, we heal up, and then we'll go from there. So we finally catch up to the circle, we decide to stop at this tree, get ourselves healed up, figure out what we're going to do from here. My buddy Dutch Ninja goes and grabs us a car, we get up in the car, as you'll see coming up here in this part, little dune buggy, two person seater, get on that and decide we got to keep going because the battle's getting down, we got 47 people alive, we're not in the position we want to be to start engaging people. So he goes and gets the car, comes over, picks me up, and we keep on trucking, trying to get ourselves a better position. So Dutch Ninja grabs the buggy, I get in the buggy with him. I'm looking at the map trying to figure out where I think we should go. I decide on the coastline, that way we have the water behind us, a little bit more protection. Don't have to worry about that angle, at least, of people trying to get us a narrower field of view to where we don't have to worry about covering a lot of ground. So we dip on up here on our way there. He's having some trouble driving. We finally, we get to this town. I see that box. I tell him to stop, jump out, loot this up, grab a few things. Then we go in this house, loot this house and grab a couple more items looking for those last minute things because we know we're going to start getting into some gunplay here soon we clear this house we're going to go back outside here pick up the gas just in case we may need it for the buggy uh, don't plan too much on using the car much more once we get a little bit closer it brings too much attention so now we're kind of in creep mode get into a little action here coming up though he stops to equip some things I wasn't paying too much attention to him. I go over this wall, and as you can see, as soon as I jump this wall, I got a guy right here. Take him out. Darren tries to help me, but then he didn't see the guy in the corner. That guy downs him. Doesn't finish him off. I quickly down that guy, get Darren back up, and we uh, pick through these guys' loot and continue on a little bit. Moving in closer, things are starting to get a little heated. People have definitely heard those gunshots. They know we're in the area. So we're going to go and try to figure out what our, we're going to do next. Pick through the loot. Grab a few last minute things. And continue our journey here. We finish up loot in this little area here. Maybe we wonder why I threw that smoke, because people would see. I threw it to cover him, because he wanted to pick through that guy's loot. We're still grabbing last end things, trying to get ourselves ready for end war. We hang out in this house. He's watching one window. I'm watching this one. I swear I saw somebody at one point in the grass out there, and I let him know. So we're picking up some things, talking a little bit strategy, figuring out what we're going to do, making sure our guns are all set up. I go over here. 
Still watching through that play area. We got a little bit of time. We're under a minute. The circle's going to start moving. At this point, it's moving a little quick. It deals out some good damage. So we make the decision. It's time to go. I know there's a guy out there because I've seen him pop his head up in the grass. Here we come. Running up in here. See the guy there. There's two of them. I take the left guy. Dutch takes the guy on the right. We down them. We know there's other guys in the vicinity. I'm telling him, you know, don't go through the stuff. Let's go. Let's get to some cover. Try to find, uh, get ourselves set up. And then he's telling me that he wants to look through it. So he starts picking through it. Now, when he starts picking through it, the guy he downed actually had the sniper rifle, the AWM, I believe, the one that shoots the 300 Magnum rounds. So he's excited on that. He's picking it up. I'm feeling pretty confident that he's got that gun. The guy's a good shot. I play shooters with him all the time. So I feel good that it's in his hands, but he's only got five bullets for it, I believe, if I remember correctly. So we got some shots. He's got to make them count. We're picking through this stuff quickly, trying to get ourselves. Thing here comes the circle. We got to go. It's doing some nice damage to us here. Luckily, we didn't have too far to run. Running up here, trying to figure out where we're going to hunker down at. We decide to just hit the deck once we get in. And now we're starting to get into some more serious action. Pretty sure I spotted a guy over by that shack. Not sure, but we're sitting here. We're getting bandaged up, healing ourselves, getting ready for some more intense battle. You can see here, still bandaging, got a little ways to go. And from here out... We're pretty much, you know, hearts are getting a little bit beady here. We're scoping around, trying to find people that are hiding around trees and whatnot. And we basically go into army crawl mode from here on out. And you'll see us get into a couple battles here coming up. So I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was a guy that moved up to that rock that's over to my right. I let Dutch know that he's there. I'm trying to get in the position to shoot him with my M16. Moving up, I believe Dutch also spotted some guys on the hill at this point. Kind of trying to focus this guy. I think I take a couple shots at him here. Let's see what happens. Someone's shooting at me. It's that guy at the rock. I shoot at him got guys up to the right as well up on the hill i'm throwing some smoke out trying to create a little bit of a diversion we decide we gotta run we got the guy that was at the rock dutch is moving up further getting into position trying to spot guys with his sniper there and as you can see more crawling and we're just getting in position staying ahead of the circle because it's closing in in 15 seconds we got to get close i'm hurt so it's all racing the clock here and trying to stay alive.
So we spotted a guy across the street, and Dutch Ninja's waiting for the shot. You'll hear the sniper shot, and you'll see the guy go down. And there it was. Darren gets one guy with the sniper. He didn't kill him, but he's down. He shot at him again to try to finish him off, but he missed. I believe the guy eventually bleeds out, because you'll see the number goes down. There's a guy right there by the tree. Circles moving in. We're talking back and forth on who we're gonna who's we're gonna shoot. We've seen a couple guys. We're watching that guy, and there goes a shot right there. Now we're down to four. It's he and I and two other guys. We're waiting to see what's going on, see if we see anybody move or what happens. We're still looking for that last guy. Getting pretty intense here. Circle's closing in. Still two versus two. I'm moving over here. There goes the one guy. So now it's two on one. And in a second here, the guy starts shooting. Darren, Dutch Ninja, starts screaming. I jump up to get a shot on him and finish the game. So let's watch it play out here. And there you have it, winner, winner, chicken dinner for two. We win, I ended up getting four kills. I'm not sure how many he got, but we did not think we were going to win this game from where we started off. We traveled completely across the whole map just about to get in the position to win it. And that's going to do it for this game, my friends. I know it was a long video, so I appreciate it if you stuck through and watched it. It was a pretty intense game for us. Like I said, we didn't think we were going to win it, but we pulled it off in the end. Once again, I'm the Tease Monkey. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to subscribe, my friends.